How's it going? This is Tom Burkhart, formerly of Top Speed, now uh, working on a new project called Car Revs Daily, which is like the Car Revs Daily, but it also means Car Reviews Daily, so that's kind of a little thing there. Uh, we're riding around in the 2014 Mazda 6i Touring, um, and this car has really knocked my socks off, and I wanted to take a quick video despite it being just sort of like a rainy um, Tuesday afternoon. I think I have a cold, I'm really tired, I'm trying to start a business, so I'm a little, a little zonked, but the Mazda 6 has been really, really impressive, and though I've taken a few videos over the last week together, um, they've been so bad, I mean, they're, they're so bad, there's one at night where there's music on, I mean, it's so bad, so, um, you know, despite how terrible some of my video reviews have been when I've forgotten my um, camera mount before, Believe me, there's significantly worse things, you know, in the archive, in terms of what um, what type of total garbage I'm capable of producing. But that's neither here nor there, because the Mazda 6 is awesome. I've been telling everyone in my family about it the whole time I've had it. Um, the car is really, really impressive. So there are a couple things about it that I really like best. Um, so just want to sum it up with the um, the general driving experience and um, and seating position and overall the, the general performance feel. And in that sort of like large um, category, I lump like all sorts of, um, you know, really refined handling and other benefits that the Mazda 6 brings to the table for 2014. Um, and also, So in that whole, you know, sort of driving experience bundle, um, the Mazda 6 seems to strike a really good balance, whereas like BMWs, you know, the, the latest, um, you know, 535 and the 5 Series and um, other vehicles in their line are getting sort of criticized for taking the isolation to um, a very electronic level, whereas this car has all of the rock solid um, sort of performance feel and real finesse to, to the way it behaves, uh, feels really well balanced. Everything about the cabin is totally isolated and I love the way it drives. Um, and the second thing that's really awesome about it is, you know, also sort of like a, a, little, a large type of catch-all group. You know, it's gorgeous, has really good proportions, it's really striking and um, great value considering the, uh, considering the refinement in here. I mean, I'm stunned, absolute silence and smoothness from this two and a half liter four cylinder engine. We have a six speed manual right here and of course the Sky Active setup. Um, and it's, uh, it's magnificent. It's really hard to describe without you sort of like getting really into the details of like how the engine works. But basically it's just buttery smooth, has the same, you know, plateau of torque from about a thousand RPM that it has, you know, all the way to its, um, you know, 6,000 RPM rev line, which is a little bit lower than some people have become used to uh, from Japanese four cylinder engines. And part of the reason, as far as I understand, that it's lower is that it, because it shares a similar compression ratio with this revolutionary diesel that uh, we think is also going to be coming to America. Uh, coming to America very soon um, with, uh, with hopefully an automatic transmission as an option. So that will make a very, very exciting Mazda 6 because obviously this car is so refined in, in everything it does. Um, but and also super efficient, but you know one thing I am noticing after driving like a few pretty hot cars in the last week is that um, you know, it's uh, You know, it's not quite it's it's no Evo, but you know, I don't think the customer base is really looking for that. So <laughs> All right, well um, Have a great day. You guys should definitely go look at the Mazda 6 uh, for 2014 It has a huge back seat drives like a BMW looks like a Tesla. I mean, what else can you say? It's awesome. It's really cool. Thanks. Take it easy.